Assalamualaikum. So this is chapter two. Uh, the topic is getting organized. Okay. So for this topic, actually, you want to know how to organize an event. Okay, how to organize an event. So first, we must to identify who will be the leadership. Siapa yang akan jadi leader? So actually, leaders shape our nation, communities, and organization. So we need a good leaders to help guide uh, to help guide us and make the essential large scale decisions that keep the world moving. Okay, our society is uh, usually quick to identify a bad leader. But how you can identify a good leader? What would most people say makes a good leader? Okay, so this is the characteristics of good leader lah. Okay, number one is qualities. Okay, qualities is if your action inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, so you are a leader. Uh, maksudnya, you boleh ajar orang untuk macam untuk capai, untuk inspire, nak capai cita-cita, okay, belajar lagi, buat le- lagi, okay, buat lebih. So, you adalah leader, you boleh motivate orang, okay. Number two is uh, reliability. Okay, reliability means uh, to be able to produce good as a good result time after times. Okay, boleh dipercayai lah, leader tu boleh percayai, maksudnya dia boleh Uh, kita percaya bahawa leader ni boleh capai apa yang kita nak okay? Sentiasa uh, Sentiasa event Contohnya apa yang kita nak event Sentiasa capai objektif So sentiasa kita akan capai objektif tu Re- Reliability okay? Leader tu masalah kita boleh percaya Cap- Capability okay? Dia berupayaan lah okay? Dia berupaya Reliability is able to produce good results Sorry Has ability to, to set the vision and the example Okay, dia boleh dijadikan sebagai contoh lah, okay. Sebab dia berupaya untuk mencapai objektif sesuatu event. Okay, the ability to lead, to inspire, direct and teach others in organization. Number, okay, number four is commitment. Okay, apa dia commitment? Acceptance of responsibility. Leadership commitment involve making a personal decision to support the change no matter what. Okay, uh, so commitment ni bila leader tu, as a leader, dia boleh commit. Dengan responsibility yang dia dapat tu lah Okay, willingness Willingness uh, as a leader He or she enjoy helping others Succeed and also willing to be judged Okay, so dia sanggup lah Dia sanggup untuk tolong yang lain Tolong orang lain supaya berjaya Dan juga dia sanggup untuk di judge Okay, orang judge dia dia sanggup Okay, then is enthusiasm Okay, it is a behavior that uh, That can be taught Okay, behavior yang boleh Uh, yang boleh diajar okay? As a leader, you can teach the others around you To feel the same way You pun boleh belajar lah okay? Maksudnya leader ni, dia boleh mengajar orang okay? Mengajar orang And kita rasa pun, kita yang diajar pun rasa nak belajar lagi okay? You can teach other You can teach the others around you To feel the same way When someone is excited about what they do So success usually follows okay? And last is proactive Proactive means it's about Taking time to plan, improve how your team works and putting me- measures in place to prevent problems before they happen. So, proactive ni, tindakan sebelum berlaku lah. So, kita tahu dah, kalau nak buat event ni, okay, ada plan A. So, mesti ada plan B, plan C. Kalau yang ni tak dapat, tiba-tiba VIP tak datang. So, siapa berganti dia? So, dia dah fikir dah apa yang akan berlaku. Okay? Takut benda yang kena berlaku, so dia dah fikir dah. Dia ada preparation. Okay? Apa yang perlu dibuat jika ini berlaku, ini berlaku. Itu proactive. Okay, so this uh, so this measure will reduce the impact or stop the problems happening together. And actually, it have we have many. Uh, actually, there are uh, there are there are many characteristic of leadership lah. Okay, like ability to dedicate, communication, innovative. Ada banyak lagi sebenarnya. Okay, next is this is the committee members. So siapa yang perlu ada dalam event sesuatu event tu? So, mesti ada program director, assistant director, kan, sekretar, uh, secretary, uh, treasurer, promotion, or market. Dia, dia promote dia punya event tu, sponsorship, who sponsor the event, okay, refreshment, okay, a light snack or drink, kan. Uh, siapa yang sediakan dia tu, logistik, facility, siapa yang tempah bangunan, venue macam mana, jauh ke tak, okay. Registration or opening ceremony. Okay, ini semua penting member. Terlibatlah transportation, surplus or distribution, 
Tak tahu logis information system Siapa yang sediakan mic Siapa yang sediakan PA system Semua audio tu Price, protocol and central Okay so what to do first So initial stage of getting started Depends on what kind of activity going on All the objective are primary and secondary So events can be personal, leisure, cultural, organizational, sport, charity etc So apa yang perlu buat adalah kita mesti dapatkan apa objektif setiap event tu. So, what kind of event? Event ada dalam banyak-banyak uh, bentuk lah. Ada bentuk personal, ada bentuk leisure, okay, ada bentuk cultural. Okay. Nah, contohnya, event uh, sambutan hari kemerdekaan. Okay, event sambutan hari raya. Organizational, okay, maybe meeting ke, meeting akademik ke, kan? sport days ke, okay, charity event ke. Okay. Maybe organize volunteers or professional. So, maybe melibatkan volunteers dan juga professional lah dalam sebuah event tu. So getting started partly depends on what we know about the event and who will run it. So the question is, sebelum kita nak buat event tu, kita mesti tanya dulu, what events? Event apa kita nak buat? Who will run? So AGM, kita nak buat AGM. What's event AGM? Who will run? Siapa akan run? run uh, siapa akan run event tu? Okay, bermula dari presiden kan? And then dia punya timbalan presiden lah, semua-semua tu lah. When? Bila? How? Macam mana? Okay, macam mana nak buat tu? Nak buat virtual ke sekarang? Ataupun nak buat face-to-face -face ke? Which? Okay. Uh, who's and why? So, kita kena persoalkan semua ni. Okay. Okay, then mostly a group of people will be involved. Some group may already exist like club, association, student, expert or non-expert and etc. So, advantages dia. So, kalau kita dah tahu nak buat event tu and yang, melibat, yang terlibat adalah uh, group yang biasa terlibat. So, It's advantage that we can uh, so they know each member of their strength and weaknesses. So they tahulah apa dia punya kelebihan, apa dia punya ke kelemahan. So for special event, may add uh, one or two extra members as advisors from those who have experience of of similar event. Okay, or many from smaller subcommittee. So contohnya lah kalau kita event tu special sikit, so maybe kita boleh tambah. Contohnya kita nak buat uh, conference ekonomik sebelum kita tak pernah buat. So kita tambah lah yang contohnya lah yang yang sebelum yang yang previous conference tu kita tambah AJK lama supaya uh, dia boleh advise kita apa yang perlu kita buat. Okay, okay. Useful size for company is about 60 people. Okay, orang penting lah dalam sebuah event adalah enam orang. Group size vary, but larger group may cause difficult to achieve an integrated approach. Okay, ah uh, normally macam tu lah kalau group yang besar susah kita nak handle sebenarnya. Okay. Uh, forming new organizing committee from scratch is not easy. Okay, biasanya kalau kita, kita create group yang baru Benda baru, orang baru tak pernah terlibat dengan event So, dia susah sikit lah Sebab tu kita kena uh, Kita kena invite maybe orang lama kan tu dalam uh, Into the event lah Event groups So, we must consider this following lah How much time will organizing the event Need from each person Can they spare uh, this time to the job properly kan um, Okay, and then have a uh, Have there any background of doing it before? Have they done similar project? Have good reputation for good work? So sebelum ni, tengoklah. Uh, ini dia punya important point in finding suitable candidate. So candidate terlibat dalam event tu. Uh, dia pernah bias, dia biasa tak buat event ni. Dia pernah dia pernah join tak event ni. Okay. Apa background dia? Sebelum ni dia bekerja buat apa? Di SU ke kan? Uh, dia treasurer ke? Okay. Dia apa lagi? Maybe dia just um, apa lagi? Uh, maybe the president ke so okay tak kerja dia okay good working relationship with other people do they get on well with others juga kita kerja dengan orang uh, kalau orang sebab kerja dia buat tak uh, dia ada gaduh dengan orang tak dalam tu okay habisnya kalau, kalau student kan biasa saya dengar oh media dia tak buat kerja lah saya semua semua ah uh, itu tak bagus sebenarnya dalam event okay if they have some particular weakness in organization has another member of the community got that uh, as a strength so that the community has a value of expertise so maybe salah seorang kita punya Uh, AJK, AJK lah community members tu dia dia dapat jawatan tu tapi dia tak pandai sebenarnya so better kita tukar dia kerja kepada kerja lain lah supaya kita boleh top up dia punya kelemahan tu so in composition of committee so needs to able to needs to be able to deal with key jobs organizing, marketing, finance find the resources, recording or just plain being enthusiastic and keeping this going okay ha, yang ni ni tugas dia bagilah kerja apa-apa AJK apa-apa dia boleh jalan haa So, they will need to be able to achieve the requirement of the job. So, setiap orang ni mestilah or, dia pandai organize. Contohnya, dia pandai manage event. Dia pandai manage orang. So, dia sesuai untuk organizing. Okay, marketing. Dia ni suka main. Contohnya, dia suka uh, dia aktif uh, teknologi. Dia aktif, dia pandai 
medium uh, media social so maybe dia, dia, dia boleh promote kita punya event uh, and finance maybe dia pada student accounting so dia pandai buat account semua nanti kan okay, pandai buat bajet semua ok ok next is even organizational structure development ok so organization of event vary according to how an event has grown ok may originally uh, one of volunteer or organized event may has grown as annual and organized by professional so at this happen organization Organization possibly changes, including the culture of the organizing body. Example, from informal to formal, from amateur to professional. Okay, contohnya lah. Contohnya sebelum ni, UATM buat conference. Awal permulaannya, maybe kita jadi amateur. Okay. Then, bila dah lama, dah conference tu kali ke-12, 13, dah kita jadi professional. Okay. So, this is the development of organizational structures in events. So, first kita create idea. Okay, origin of the event idea. Nak buat apa? Okay, nak buat apa? Nanti sebagai contoh, creation of an informal organization of committee and then kita buat informal organization, siapa presiden, okay, siapa uh, dia punya timbalan dia, siapa dia punya jurusan dia, siapa dia punya SU dia, semua tu lah. Okay, and then is establishment of a formal organization and last is professionalization. Okay, example of an event management committee, ini contoh lah, okay. Uh, one chair or president, two operation of officers, one finance officer, one marketing officer, one health, safety and, and legalities officer. So in addition, various other people might be invited to attend some of the meeting depending on the type of event and the uh, uh, agenda of the meeting. Okay, maybe representative from the venue or license holders, sponsors. Contohnya dulu kan, contohnya you nak buat event tu, you nak buat, um, you nak buat event untuk... Uh, Uh, contohnya UATM nak tanam nenas ok, so you buat satu event tu macam mana nak event uh, sorry, event tanam, sorry, event untuk contohnya uh, apa kabut kan, kabut ke apa kita panggil yang untuk, oh, contoh kita jual produk, uh, produk pertanian, so kita panggil siapa, semua kita invite, pharma ke kan, ataupun mardi uh, supaya dia boleh join event tu so dia boleh panggil uh, dia, dia boleh panggil lagi ramai seller-seller daripada luar lah, ok mungkin kita dalam UATM kita tahu bukan siapa seller yang join Maldi Pharma tu so mungkin Pharma boleh join juga dalam uh, event tu lah ok so tak perlu sesas ni ok event feasibility, finding and testing an idea, ok event feasibility means kita boleh uh, maksudnya event tu boleh kita laksanakan ke tak, ok so saya rasa yang ni saya akan sekejap eh Okay, ini kita proceed dengan next video.